Good afternoon everyone, it's Rachel here and we are going to continue working in this little booklet. Um, I really liked in the other one how um, there, were, there was the flap and there were extra pages. I have these envelopes that are pretty old um, and I had to cut the bottom off or the top off them. What pretty old, they're 19... 90s i think but i I cut the top or the bottom off because they were very gross so um this one i felt like was narrow enough and i thought i might add it at the back somehow i've got the flap here so oh i'll lose those bits i'll take those bits off i don't need those i might keep those flappy bits there and I'm going to attach some pages into it but I don't need all of the flap so I've just cut the bottom off just so because I might be confusing as to what it's looking like how it's turned out like that but I did cut the bottom off and I'm cutting this off as well and I'm going to I don't want it to be too wide I'm going to glue that onto the back I might glue it I'm going to glue it here and then I'm going to staple in, it's very complex, I'm going to staple in some pages. I'm going to glue it on there. Or will I glue it on there? So I don't cover up. I might glue it on there. I need to have it sticking out just a little bit. I may have cut too much off. But I'm going to put some glue on there and have it sticking out a little bit. That's what I'm going to do. We'll see what happens. Otherwise, it, you know, if it doesn't work, it's flip. It's a flippity flip. So how is everyone today? I hope you're well. Now, before I forget, um, I got quite a few messages today on Etsy. Oh, you told me to contact you on my comment on the giveaway video. Um, that was spam. I didn't do that. I would ne I don't send messages like that with all those arrows and emojis and things. The only thing I would do is a hug emoji or a um, smiley emoji, you know, that sort of thing. So, um, yeah, that was spam. So what I've done is anyway, I was, I've was i turned the commenting off on that video and I also turned the commenting off on the original giveaway announcement video, even though it was a crafting video. There's now no comments on there. Um, oh, that one just because people, you know, kept participating and, and it's closed. So I didn't want them to keep participating. Um, and then the other one, um, the announcement, I turned it off because there was this yucky sort of spam going on there and I didn't like it. So I turned it off and I'm going to put this on here. Oh, no, I'm not. I changed my mind um, <laughs> in a flash. Um, yeah, so that's why there's no commenting happening now on the, the giveaway video. It's been turned off. I'm going to put that there. I definitely like that. And I'll put something else at the top because I want to reinforce it. And uh, yeah, so I apologize if anyone. I did get quite a few messages today and I reported all of the spam uh, comments and, and then deleted them. And then I thought, I don't want any more spam because it makes me nervous. I think, sort of think, oh, they might be able to do something weird. So I disabled the comments. I don't know what this never happened before, but just for future reference, I don't send messages like those ones. I don't like say, oh, contact me on Etsy. The only time I would say contact me is um, if you asked me a question about pricing or um, can you go on a list or anything like that, then I'll say contact me on Etsy. Otherwise, I don't say contact me on Etsy. I'll answer you directly on the video if that makes sense i'm going to put a piece of this paper here as well yes that's, that's just to reinforce that um, hinge i won't staple too many pages in although i could i could put a little bit of um something on the edging of the page once i've stapled in some pages so they're going to get that's going to get pages that Nice way to add them. I might put some washi there, but first I want to st staple in my pages. So let's create some pages to go in there. Um, and we want it to be writing sort of pages. So I need to grab these sorts of things. Um, this one would be good. 
maybe if I've got oh there's so much noise going on upstairs it's kind of distracting I've got some paper here a lot of bashing and banging and stomping and clomping I've got this lovely onion skin paper I don't know why it's so weird it was just like look how I mean there's so many and I've even used some in the back of a book that's some uh, newsprint paper and we'll use that we might put a piece of this paper in there and I'm just going to go into my little ephemera um, ephemera box and see what's in there that could go in as an extra writing spot I did have some you should see the faces that I pull when I'm looking up <laughs> Lulu always cracks up laughing Steffi said to me the other day Oh my goodness, did you just, do you know what face you just pulled? Because I pull faces. Um, I don't know why. I guess it's like trying to concentrate, <laughs> trying to focus. I'm trying to focus. That's what it is. I'm trying to focus on what I'm trying to see. Does that make sense? Anyway, that's a very old piece of paper, that one. Well, there, there's lots of old pieces. That's a good piece. Um... So, I mean, there's all kinds of random bits and pieces in here. It's meant to be for extra writing space, so we want to keep them fairly fairly plain. They can be a little bit of interest. That could even be better than another one I pulled out. We don't want too many. I just like a bit of a selection. There's some book page. These are good. Okay, so let's have a look. So we'll tear it down, but I need to get my sizing correct. So when I fold it, excuse me, Sometimes I break into French. No, I don't really because I don't speak French. I only know a few words here and there. So I think I might fold that one there. We don't want it to annoy our thing when we close it. And I can extend that page. I like doing that, as we know. I've got this page. That'll do. It's very poorly folded. Actually, I might refold that because that's going to be too big let's see yes and then this one that one we're going to do the hingy thing where's that other piece this one i thought i had oh it's right here in front of my face i'm going to glue that one on there and then tear it down i think that's a good idea Actually, I'm going to have that nice edge. Where's my... Um, I'll put a bit of glue here and then I'll use the, the wet glue. I need to refill it. It's, I oh know, it's got a bit less than a quarter. Um, but I do need to refill it. I need to glue it right in there. I, I, don't, I don't want to get my... Um, oh my goodness glue book that's it because i got two oh well it's oh, i don't know it's right here in front of my face so i could have gotten that if i need if i wanted to but anyway i'm just going to glue that on there like that it's just a little extra note pages it's not meant to be too snazzy and i'm going to tear off this extra bit here So I'm sorry, there was one lady um, who commented um, that she was very upset that she didn't even have a chance to participate in the giveaway. I apologise if it was quick. I like I sometimes like to just do a quick little giveaway. It wasn't like a big official giveaway in the sense I didn't, um, I didn't, um, what's the words? I didn't like, it's not, wasn't, there weren't big journals or anything. I, I'm sorry if that upset anyone um, that the giveaway was very quick. Um, sometimes I don't like to drag it out too long because I actually did nearly forget to do the draw and um, I'm very forgetful and so yes I do apologize if anyone was upset that they didn't have a chance to participate there were uh, like over 400 comments so the chances of winning um, were not that high um, in my defense <laughs> but I yeah I do apologize I didn't want to upset anybody so um, Yes, I will say sorry for being so quick. The next one, I might leave it longer. Or you never know, I might do a surprise one. Sometimes I like to do a surprise one. you just got to be there ready for it. Well, actually, the surprise ones, 
that I just choose a, a random video and um, and whoever commented on that video is entered. I've done that before. I only did it once actually. Um, I know some people can't comment. I'm not good at commenting on videos. So I do try to do them officially. So that way everybody, well not everybody, because obviously this one person didn't get an opportunity. Um, but I do try. Okay, I don't think we need that one. Let's just see how, oh, this, oh, I can already see my first page. So that's a leftover piece of Sharon's um, thing that I use, uh, digital that I used the other day. I don't want that color. Maybe we'll have, oh, yes. Oh, that's not going to be on the front, is it? Oh, that's upside down. Yes, it is, because I'm going to turn it around that way. Oh, I've got to remember the books. It's like it's a Japanese book. It's going backwards. You know how so I've got um, Japanese um, stitching books, and they open backwards. So, um, yeah, really cool. So I'm going to add these pages in. And I'll clip them together. Lots of pages. Actually, I said I wasn't putting many pages in, but there's actually a lot of pages here. That one in the hinged piece actually i think i'd like that in the center we'll put that one in the center we'll put this one here and that one there and we'll put the hinged piece in the center and that is my little grouping of pages so i want to just clip them together now if you are not afraid I need my other clips actually hmm I'm not going to be able to clip that I need my long ones my ones I other ones I use hmm. that's not going to work so what I will do is clip it here will that work no it won't because it's longer does it matter that it's longer should I tear them down maybe I should no I like it longer is it longer than the book? It is longer than the book. So I will tear it down just a tiny bit. Didn't think about that. So I need to, oh, excuse me. I need to pull them all out and redo it. So I need to tear, I'm going to tear top and bottom off here because it's too tall, but I don't want to lose, lose the nice bits that I like. There we go. That's better. So that goes in there. And then that is not too long. And then that one is not too long. So I can re-put these in. There might be the um, onion skin will be too long, will it? Oh, no, just right. It's longer than the others, but that doesn't matter. As long as it's not longer than my, my book, my notebook. And then we have this one. And the hinged page there and so now I can clip them yep I can do it can I or just no I want to clip them into here don't I so let's clip them in here there and I want to open these out because I don't want to staple those down Open those out. I'm going to put a clip here and one here just to hold them a little bit. Okay, now that's not going to work. That is not going to work. I can clip them here. That's what I'm going to do there. And now, I mean, who knew you can spend fuss about so much for something that is meant to be scrappy. Okay, here comes the fiddly bit. Make sure I'm in my crease. Just got to get this in there. Like this. We have a fiddly moment. One, and then I can go slide it along. Hopefully, nope, I can't. Oh, yes, that's good. That worked. Let's go over here and do this one. I'll just tuck you in there. You're annoying me, piece of paper. 
I do need to rip it off, actually. Two, and I do want to slide along, and I can do it. I can, yes, confidence. And three. There we go. Yeah, I like doing that. You could stitch them in, guys. You don't have to staple, but I am loving my stapler. So I want to staple. I did bend my pages. Now, this one I'm just going to tuck in. So if someone wanted to add extra writing space to that, and that one I'm going to fold there. That's 1870s paper, that one. And there you can see the folds from the letter. I'm going to fold it in on the folds of the letter. And do I need to... That's great. There we go. Now we can decorate it. That's the fun part. Well, not always. Now, I'm wondering about that weather. If I were to glue that down, you could tuck things in there, couldn't you? I could do that, or I could take them off. Let's just have a look. Ah, oh, you see, now I'm happy we got a, we got a flip in this one as well, even though it didn't have... It did not have the... Um, you know the closing bit of the thing of the <laughs> of the envelope but it um i've attached it i've managed to attach it now i'm going to do this i'm going to take a piece of this and just going to go over two staples because i don't want it to go all the way down and attach it like that yeah that's good and I don't think I need to do any more. It's very firmly secure. You could run over it with your a little bone folder thing. Like so. And here we have a lovely notebook. That goes backwards. Look at that. And there's the centre. That one you can open out. You could rip out the pages and use them in collaging. Don't have to keep it there. You could take the staples out and remove them. Put in new ones. So just go over and recrease them. So it's all working well. And there's that piece there. Now that piece could have something else, couldn't it? Should we attach something else to that? It's rubbish. Let's see. Oh, I know. I have these, um, these uh, what are they called? I think I might attach that. I'm going to attach that. That was from um, Pam. I'm going to make it a pocket. Yes, yeah, so it was from Pam. And, um, and so, yep, she had a whole lot of um, ephemera and things from Ohio, I think. Actually, Pam, you thought that I, I gave you one that you actually gave me. I don't have any um, US stuff except for um, what's been sent to me by people. I have, I have quite a lot of it too because I don't, um, you know, I tend to use my um, Italian stuff or my, you know, journals because most people would like italian ephemera in their things although i am going to start sharing it a bit because it's still good stuff it's still old it's still good it's still fun to use and i think i might just put a little piece of this here just for good measure why not and i have been tearing it funny so that's why it's like that and i'm going to have it come over and attach it there first and down in the crease and then on my page. Oh, I like that. Yes, I do. There we go, a bit of colour. And we've got a little pocket here. Just one. Okay, cool. So we've attached that. Now I want to work on this. See what I would like to put on there. I do like flattening it out. Did you notice? I do like doing that. Okay, so. Um... I keep grabbing the same papers. What about this one? We haven't this I used this one a bit in the other in the other notebook as well. And I'm going to put that 
I don't want to cover too much. I think I'll put it there. It might be too big. Let's do it a bit smaller. Put that there. Or I could have it there. Or, or even like that. I think I'll put it like that. Okay. So what is everyone up to today? How is the weather? It's still hot here. But it's the last days, they're saying, of the superheat. And then we're going into, or, do you say autumnal weather? Um, yep, it's coming. So I'm really excited. I'm looking forward to putting, I don't want to put heavy jumpers on. But I'm looking, I, I, I do enjoy spring and, no, I don't think I'll put any more. I do enjoy spring and um, autumn weather. And sometimes we don't get much of it because it just stays so hot for such a long time and then um, you sort of miss out. Then all of a sudden it's cold or it's super hot. We don't get the much of the in-between sort of weather. So, um, no, I don't want that one. Oh, I like this bright one. That's quite nice. Quite nice, that one. And do I want, I just feel like in this bit here, we pulled too much off. I just want a little bit of book page down there, you see. That's how it happens. Right. And... I'm going to glue on my flower and then I'll see if I need anything else. Oh, I always do that. You don't, you haven't, you can't. Oh my gosh. I, oh, I'm really, oh, it's terrible. I've got blobs of glue everywhere. I've folded it over. Oh dear. I've got a wet one here so that I re-wet. It's very wet. So I'm going to put it down just a little bit on the stamp. I didn't want to cover up my tente, but anyway, I have. Oh, that's too wet. I can't wipe it with that one. Um, let me see, I had a, a dry one somewhere. Oh dear. Oh, there it is. Oh, nearly fell off my chair. No, I wouldn't fall off my chair because it's got sides, you see, so I, could, I wouldn't fall off, but I felt like it. That's going to go there. I do like that. And I don't know if we want any labels, do we? I must remember I printed up some of my background kits again because I haven't been using them. I, I ran out and um, I need to remember to use them because they're good for this sort of stuff. And I'm looking for, I feel like I'd like a blue one. I have used these ones before. I use them a bit less. They're a little bit harder to use. No, not that one. Oh, I like this one too. That's it. I'm going to put that on there. That would be nice stamped in with some little um, sort of numbers or something like a date. It would look really good in there. Don't know why. Why I think I'm thinking that, but I am. We haven't done any stamping. I could do some stamping, you know. So that's that. I really like that. I love, I'm glad, I'm pleased with how it attached. I attached it that way here. So I didn't have the flap going over and interfering with the other side. Now I've got to decide here. Now let me see. Um, see, I could put something... Just thinking. Love this paper. So I'm thinking I could have a piece that sort of goes across. That's going to be annoying to glue though, isn't it? Um, as someone mentioned, I could I could trace, like flip it over, 
and trace. Let's do that and see. Do I want that one or do I want a different one? Yeah, I think I will. I like this one. How about this one? No, I think I like that one. Okay. Decisions. Okay, move. So I'll grab a pencil. Doesn't have to be exactly plush. Because it is a, a vintage envelope. So what I'm going to do is just trace around it. Cut it out and then glue it on. I'll just cut it out like that. I don't want those triangle bits anyway. I won't use them. Cut it a bit smaller than my. Now, did I do that right? So, if I put, flip this over, no, I did. <gasps> Thank goodness, because you're, you're meant to reverse things. That's it. That will glue on there. I need to trim off a bit more here. I was a little bit generous there. That's it. And it doesn't matter if you can see my pocket. Uh, the you know the original. Just going to grab some sticky paper not I mean glue paper so it will become sticky yes so if you had your pattern facing up it wouldn't when you put it on top it wouldn't fit you need to reverse your your paper remember that because I sometimes forget so that's one yes and then I don't think this really has a direction. So if I go like this, here, more or less. Actually, I, can, I don't want to waste paper. And you know with me, it's never going to be perfect. I can throw perfection out the window. Goodbye, perfection. See you later. not use that. I don't like the triangles, it's like the circles. So you know you could um, you could leave both and and you could put actually oh that's a cute idea. You know what else is a cute idea? You could put little eyelets in there and a tie. You could put eyelets and a tie and have a little notepad in there or something. It's holding in something. That would be cute, but I'm not going to do that. I'm going to glue them down as a tuck. So you can tuck something in there. So all I need to glue is this bit, this grimy bit, and this grimy bit. And I could have put a pattern paper underneath but I think I'll leave the original envelope there so that's not stuck that these bits are not stuck just this down here and I'll be able to slide something in there so that's that you open that like that we could put a tab on there but I'll think about that so there we go we've added in some extra pages in a different way I've got that there okay so it's like the start of another one okay so here um of course this this is wiggly because it it's tied in and i'm just going going to go through this again that's got a little tear in it i think we can do a little repair should we do a repair with this don't mind that or I could do a repair excuse me excuse me excuse me I could do a little repair with a little or oh, maybe a little piece of old book page That'll, I think that's more in keeping than the new paper so it doesn't rip further I should put something up there too where that keeps folding down um, well 
that up there. Yeah, I think I'll glue that up there and then someone can elaborate on it further. So that will strengthen that little corner there that's all old and frayed. Okay. Let's see, I can't even remember what we did the last time. Oh, we added that. We did that, added her. So we extended that page, which I really like. Oh, here we go, we've got to do this again. So this time I'll put this on this side. Okay, and there. Just grab my little pieces off the table that I haven't thrown out. Put that one there, there, down there. Just stick it there. Just fixing that little bit that's torn. Okay, um, here I need to do something. There, oh, okay, we added this. So I, I don't mind, that's the oatmeal -y sort of paper. But here I might add something just where they join. Just a piece of this paper will do. I'm actually going to hand tear it. It will go into the crease, so it will be a little bit stiffer than what we would normally like. Yep, that's what I want, hand torn, and I need to hand tear it on that side. And that's crooked, which is even better. And I'm going to put that there and tear off the excess up there and that kind of to me amalgamates the two pages the two different papers by adding a third paper that's sort of sitting over the top of both of them oh, and I've glued it to my glue book You could use washi tape, whatever you like, but I'm thinking of, you know, for writing purposes. That's a good thing. I won't fold that. Oh, that's the end. Well, we do need to do something else, I think. Leave that like that. That's like that. This one. I don't like that. The, you know what's annoying me here is these two pages are the same, almost the same width. So I want to add something. have this, oh, I've already added old letter, I don't want to old, add old letter again, um, printed old letter I should say. This is what happens, put those over there, um, I have old papers, let's add some grimy old paper. So I'm going to run my glue stick down here and just some wet glue. You can see the imprint of um, writing there. Now, I don't like those. What I might do is, you know what, I'm going to glue them down. Get 
and stretch the glue. Okay. And then let's put something down here because it's a bit sticky. That leftover piece. No. Um, and then we've got to make things for it. I think I'll put this piece that I ripped off. Why don't we do that? Um, next video we'll make stuff for it and then it'll be done you know some little things like that i'm going to clip on and then i've got one do i have one tuck or two tucks i think i've only got one so that's going to go there and then this is going to fold this way like so i don't need to do more than one fold that's very um fragile up there so i I think I'm going to add something up there. You thought I was finished, but I tricked you. I think I'll glue that one up there. That'll give it some strength. So yeah, that you know they're not to go in the rubbish. These broken pages. You take off the bit, the poopy bits, shall we say, and then um, and just repair the bits that are damaged. Because they're still special. They are still special. And I think I'll put that there. Just in case I've got glue coming through that little hole that's there. And um, that way I can, it won't stick. Okay, so let's have a look. And then in the next session, oh, I'm liking this. Okay. Might do something here, I don't know. We'll see, because I'm going to be pinning things on there. So I don't need to do too much. I probably won't pin anything on those fragile pages. It's a good page. And I love that. That just comes out. Got a little bit, little bits of colour here and there. And then this one comes out like so. Got a little tear there. I just want to repair all the tears. Um, and then that one folded that way. So let's fold it back again. Yep, good. And that's the last page. I think I want to do something there, but um, I haven't done it yet. And then here we've got our little pocket that we can put something in there. And, and then this is the extra little notebook, like the other one has the extra little notebook. So there we go and there's nothing there at the moment and I don't know if I'm going to add anything so I hope you enjoyed that um, super fun project I hope some of you are uh, chugging along and making one as well because it really is fun and as someone said in the comments you can't they're fun little projects to do because you get um, almost well they still take time but you get almost instant gratification you know a few, few uh, maybe four or five sessions and and then you're done sort of thing so it is quick gratis gratification, whereas you might pick up and put down a journal for a few weeks before you finish it. That's, I'm not saying it takes a few weeks to finish it. Just you don't sit and do work eight hours. Well, I can't eight hours a day on a journal. I have to sit down and do a bit. Then I get up, then I leave it, then I come back a few days later. And that's why they take me so long. I can't, I just, they, I get tired. It's the same with this one. I'm feeling tired now that I've done that. So I need to have a break and come back to it tomorrow with fresh eyes. But super, super, super fun. Fun, fun, fun. So have a wonderful day and thank you so much for watching. And I will see you again soon. Bye.